Good afternoon, traders. It is Friday, July 9th, 2021, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Um, Dow had a fantastic day today, uh, and we had a more than fantastic day. I'll get into that in a second. The, the Dow... Um, Yesterday, it lost around 200 points or something. Today, it uh, almost doubled that in terms of wins. Uh, took off right at the beginning, kept climbing all day, closed near its high there. The Dow officially up 448 points, and it is now within a stone's throw of setting new all-time record highs. Um, we set some records today too. Uh, we had seven positions coming in. We were positive $68,000 on the close yesterday. We closed those seven positions out with $150,000 plus. So we went from 68000 to $154,000 plus on closed outs. Uh, we got into eight new positions today, five positive, three negative, and we are carrying positive $57,000 plus over the weekend going into next Monday. So, spectacular day, um, $160,000 total. Wow, what can I say? Uh, I am going to say some things. There's only... Uh, one one stock to talk about so let's get that up here this is of course um, Carver Bancorp Incorporated C-A-R-V on Wednesday we got um, a pop up here I bought it. It, it even though this chart looks tiny compared to what happened afterwards this was a good move here, and I complained bitterly on the close Wednesday how this thing had backed off of this and actually gone negative. And then, of course, yesterday, huge jump up here, just incredible. Um, this trade was up to $150,000 up here on top. But the um, hedge fund managers were getting screwed royally, and they forced about a half a dozen trading halts during the day trying to drive it down, and they were successful at the end. And this thing backed off a lot yesterday, and if you heard my video, I complained bitterly about that also. We went from being $150,000 positive here down to being like $68,000 on the close. So we saw an $85,000 uh, potential profit uh, just dissolve here on this pullback yesterday. But the hedge fund managers were overcome. And... Um, Again, just like what happened with GameStop and AMC, um, ganged up on the hedge fund managers this morning and pushed this thing back up. Actually took out the highs from yesterday. And uh, we got out here on just a little pullback from those highs. But we still got out uh, with a hundred and fifty three thousand dollars in profit from Carver Bancorp Incorporated. So the hedge fund managers were overcome um, and they lost a lot of money in this and they have short memories and uh, are rather long memories and they're not going to forget this uh, you can see here what happened today. They're trying to recover their money by shorting this thing again. 
They don't learn up here. They think with it so high, it's just got to go now. And so they were pushing hard to short it up here and pushed it down. Um, you know, uh, you know, it looks like about $15 there. They pushed it down. Okay. All this means is that this is go could become the next GameStop or AMC. I'm looking for this thing to that this tug of war uh, between, let's just say, between the hedge fund managers and the people is going to continue, but the people are going to win. And what this means is we're going to see this thing being pushed up, and again, the hedge fund managers having to cover their shorts in mass, and this thing moving uh, very rapidly and a lot higher. And it wouldn't surprise me that we see um, Carver go to uh, $100. Uh, that's not a prediction, and God knows don't don't do buy and hold with this thing trade our system with it but we're gonna just like we saw a lot of really good trades with GameStop and AMC I think we're gonna see some continuing good trades with Carver from here on out for a while those of you who have been following me for a while know that in the past year and a half we have had extraordinary performances. And this is due in part to um, a lot of outlier, well, not a lot of outlier trades. I'm going to say in the last year and a half, we probably have had maybe um, 25 to 30 outlier trades. And by those, I mean trades that we made from forty thousand to two hundred and twenty thousand dollars a piece in, and those twenty-five to thirty trades constitute somewhere between seventy to eighty percent of our total profits. So if you didn't get into those twenty-five to thirty outlier trades, trading my system, you're not profitable. You're losing. And uh, you've got to hang around and get into these outliers. Um, I, one reason for this higher performance is I believe I've become more proficient in identifying stocks for our portfolio that are more likely where there's a higher probability of going into this outlier mode. You know, if we only need 25 to 30 of these in a year and a half period, it doesn't mean every stock I pick is going to do it. But I need to find stocks which have a higher probability of doing it, hanging on with a portfolio of 50 and trading them consistently day after day after day. And if you're going to be proficient or you're going to be profitable with this system, my algorithm, you got to do that too. Um, so, today, out of this group of 25 to 30 outlier trades between 40,000 and 220,000, there's an elite group of outlier trades between 150 and 220,000. And I don't think there's more than four or five of those trades in the last year and a half. So Carver Bancorp Incorporated joined that elite handful of outlier trades that I have traded in the last year and a half. It joined it today. Absolutely spectacular with profits of $153,000 plus. Congratulations um, Carver Bancorp. Just spectacular. Um, this single trade, we have been going through two or three months of pretty painful trading. If you've been listening to my videos, you know, I just, I just go crazy every day 
with some of the crap that keeps happening and part of it is a result of these whack-a-moles these hedge fund managers that drive everything down that we buy that is profitable and it's so frustrating however you just need one of these trades like we had today in Carver Bancorp and it just wipes everything out all the pain of the last two three months is taken care of by this single trade in a single stock in Carver Bank Corp Incorporated that took place today. So you got to trade this every day. You got to stick with the system. You don't do that, you're not going to make money. Okay. And I have, through this painful period of last two, three months, a few people have been so emboldened as to write me and kind of half complain saying I'm not doing things right and suggesting what I need to do to, to, to make this better. Why I'm losing money. They, you know, they think they're telling me why I'm losing money. And all I can say is thanks but no thanks. And I'm going to state something pretty outlandish today following this great trade of $153,000 that we had in Carver. And what I'm saying is that this al algorithm or system will never lose money over time. It can't. It's mathematically impossible for that uh, to happen. And I, if you think that's an outlandish statement, I will simply say on the performance of Carver Bancorp Incorporated today, I rest my case. You guys have a fantastic weekend, and I will be back here on Monday trading the algorithm as usual.